A newly proposed bill would give Rhode Islanders with autism a special designation on their driver's license and license plates, similar to people with handicaps. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. The bill is the brainchild of a local high schooler with autism who testified in front of the Committee on Health and Human Services tonight. But not everyone is on board. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts explains why some in the autism community and even the ACLU are against it. Amanda? The lawmaker who introduced this bill said it aims to improve communication between people with autism and police officers, but some people in the autism community and the ACLU say it will just increase stigma and discrimination. A new bill is causing some Rhode Islanders with autism to sound the alarm, and they didn't hold back in the State House Tuesday. This bill will increase stigma instead of decreasing it. The bill would put an autism marking on a person's driver's license, an autism decal on their vehicle, and a blue envelope inside their vehicle with ways to enhance communication between them and police. That gets stopped for maybe rolling through a stop sign, maybe going a little too fast, or whatever the case may be. When they get pulled over by a police officer, they would get very nervous. Rep Samuel Azanaro introduced the bill. He said it came to be when this Westerly High School student approached him with the idea with the help of his device. I have autism. That student addressed the House Health and Human Services Committee Tuesday night. Sometimes people, like the police, may not understand the autism community and reactions we may have when surrounded by lights and sirens. Connecticut passed a similar bill a few years back, but it only included a blue envelope. Rep Ozanaro said he added the license marking and plate decal and emphasized that this would all be voluntary but the ACLU is against it. But we really think it should be the goal that police approach every interaction with the same amount of compassion and dignity, regardless of whether an individual has chosen to visually alert law enforcement that they are an individual with a specific disability. Those in the autism community agree. Such a bill would offer up an opportunity for officers to harass us, infantilize us, and treat us as if we are less than any other driver on Rhode Island roads. And say they wish they were a part of the conversation before this bill was introduced. Instead of um, having lawmakers who are not autistic um, or not disabled make these decisions for us. House Bill 5503 has been held for further study. That rep said he admits that it does need work. He understands why people are against it and said he is working to improve it. I'm Amanda Pitts, 12 News.